What's good, y'all? I was talking to somebody the other day, and he was just like, you know, there are a lot of good men out here, so why are there so many women who say they want one but won't give anybody a chance? And my theory is simple. You know, the average woman knows there's some really good brothers, but for every one she's met, there's 10 more who will ask for her number, and if she doesn't feel like talking, he'll call her stuck up and ugly and start fronting, saying that he really didn't want her. Probably nine more who will try to earn her trust just to lose it because he wasn't ready for a relationship but decided that after he screwed her. Another eight who will say they're single and left their girl alone when they're only on bad terms. He just felt like being a hoe. Seven more who will send dick pics to chicks that don't know him. But let her send one emoji out, then these hoes ain't loyal. See, they'll cheat a hundred times and still ask for forgiveness, but if she cheated once, then they'll act like the world just ended. Six more abusive types who quit to smack a girl, but if a dude the same size tried him, you wouldn't speak out of turn. Five more who get on Instagram fronting like they running things. Meanwhile, they still gotta ask their moms if they can have company. You know, the kind with a curfew, but somehow grind all day and pretend they ballin' when really they just ain't got no bills to pay. <laughs> Anyway, there'll be four more who claim they need a girl with all her curves and edges but can offer her nothing more than community dick and bad credit. At least three who keep a side chick then have the nerve to be jealous with reverse psychology, pressing her about who she's been texting. Now that leaves two who don't keep their word but swear they keep it real. But nothing's real about a dude who plays a girl that's loyal to him. So for all those types, there's just one that won't need third and fourth chances. The kind of man that doesn't come in emotionally damaged. Can earn her respect without having to demand it. Not only has big dreams, but also has a plan and can time manage. So he doesn't get so busy she starts feeling stranded. But instead spoils her with consistency and understanding. And most importantly, has values and still believes in marriage. Nah, that doesn't mean he's perfect, but he's still better than average, and if she's bringing steak to the table, she deserves a man bringing more than just salad. Even if she has to curb most of them who come her way because it's easier to stay single when you know the games people play. Y'all let me know if you agree. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, at Derek Jackson, Jackson spelled J-A-X-N.